dot while examining documents held in private collections. In one, a 12-year-old girl called Halinka Kubertsinska wrote on February 15, 1944, My dear parents, if you can get me some leather boots and send me, because I have nothing to wear, I am asking for some soap and a spoon too, because I do not have anything to eat. Another from a 12-year-old boy called James Spikala and dated October 16, 1944 says My darling mummy, please bake me 20 pancakes, and onions and mustard. He added, I work as a saddle maker. You can send me photos but don't expect a reply for a month. Yet another from a 13-year-old girl called Gertrude Novak and dated April 2, 1944, reads, Yerge came from the hospital healthy, now he has fallen ill again with pneumonia and water in his side. I am very worried that it will get worse. Describing the finds as priceless Dr. J. Janicki from the museum said, these letters are a special intimate form of contact with the experiences of these children's truly tragic experiences. Read literally, the letters from the youngest prisoners of the German camp could suggest the conditions were good. The letters are full of assurances that the children are doing well, that everyone is healthy. But between the lines a tragic picture emerges. There is information here that tells about the real situation in the camp. From a letter of one of the girls we learn that they are all healthy, but her brother recently suffered from pneumonia and he has water in his side. Another girl asks for shoes for herself and her sister. He added, the content of the letters written by the children to their parents or immediate family does not show the whole truth about the conditions of the camp, hunger, beatings, and diseases. Each letter was censored and dictated by the guards. However, even what the children managed to describe is shocking. Dot. But another fragment from one of the partially damaged letters reveals the despair and pain of the children. One reads, Today I am leaving this camp for fall work, a Polish word for a slave labor farm. The letter continues, I am sorry that I cannot be with you, I missed so much. Poland, on the orders of SS Chief Heinrich Himmler. Hidden inside the wood Jewish ghetto, renamed Litzmannstadt by the Germans, it was the only camp to be established by the Nazis specifically for children in occupied Europe. As many as 20,000 Polish children aged between 2 and 16 years old faced untold horrors inside as they were imprisoned in the camp's horrendous conditions where they were beaten tortured and starved.
The camp soon became known as Little Auschwitz because of its high death rate and the violence handed out by SS thugs in charge. For breakfast children would be given just one slice of bread and half a liter of black coffee. The children were starved of lunch and given just a liter of turnip or potato soup with beet leaves or cabbage for dinner. They were very occasionally given a spoonful of marmalade. Many of the children died of starvation and disease or from vicious feedings and floggings at the hands of SS guards. The camp's filthy conditions saw a typhus epidemic in late 1942 and early 1943 which claimed the lives of many children. Those who remained alive were subjected to forced labor morning to night and dehumanizing punishment by sadistic German guards. Boys straightened needles and made straw shoes, wicker baskets, gas mask belts and leather parts of backpacks. Girls worked in the camp laundry, kitchen, tailor's workshop and the garden. It is believed that as many as 300 children were murdered or died within the camp walls though the exact number is unknown. Vital documents were destroyed by Germans before fleeing the advancing Red Army on January 18, 1945. When the Nazi occupation of Wuj ended, there were over 800 underage prisoners in the camp. Acting director of the Museum of Polish Children of Victims of Totalitarianism, Dr. Ira Neuss Major, said the letters revealed more truths about the conditions children had to endure. He said, this camp and the tragic history of small defenseless victims of German crimes were forgotten for years. Now we are discovering the truth about the camp on Przemysluwa Street in Łódź. We will reveal all the facts, we will show the whole truth about the camp.